What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here. Delarose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. Head to the link in my description below. Sign up for my newsletter. Get a free novel and a free graphic novel from me. If you like science fiction and fantasy, things like that, you will absolutely love my work. It'll help support the channel. See if you like it. And then head to Amazon and pick up the other books where I've got a lot. I've got a whole assortment, every sort of subgenre of science fiction, fantasy, of comics that you could possibly want. Uh, I'm here to appeal to you. I'm a person who cares about my customers, much like board game designer Phil Eklund. And Phil Eklund was the target of some cancel culture mobs a while back, uh, which is January 17th, as you can see from the Facebook post. I talked about it in a live stream, but I didn't make a video about it at the time. This was really the first snowball that got this whole board game, I guess, cancel thing going in the last month or so. And Phil Eklund is a uh, designer who is really well-renowned. He's been in the business for decades. He makes very, very complicated games with like historical accuracy. He's really one of those, he's one of those people that if you're really a thinker, like those games are for you. And it's really cool stuff. Uh, so he's a legend in the industry, and people tried to cancel him because of a little portion of a rule book where he was talking about uh, people who were enslaved or oppressed and uh, and just listing off groups that were oppressed in history, for example. So this happened, and he uh, was just piled on. People were saying that they're not going to carry his games, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, this led to an incident where the review channel Watch It played actually tried to cancel uh, another guy who was commenting on the thread because uh, one of his one of the watch it played partners was a t you know just saying nasty things to Phil Eklund on the thread it was really a bad deal but this has culminated in something even crazier today uh, which he Phil Eklund that is has been removed from board game geek so the uh, the community manager of board game geek has said that Phil Eklund has been permanently suspended from posting on board game geek and it's because uh, what was going on on his threads, which are, which of course they've now deleted, is that people were piling on him, saying that his games uh, game gamify rape is what people were saying, and because again his games are historical games, often uh, he has uh, different aspects of the game where you know there are like the Ottoman Empire engaging in slave trading and things like that, which is real things that actually happened. And Phil Eklund went on there and said, "Look, this is this is a historical game." And we've got, you know, some nasty stuff that have happened historically. Part of that is slave trade. And of course, part of those slaves were, of course, the sexualization of women and things like that. It's not something I'm glorifying, but it is something that exists. And, you know, we can't just erase it because people are triggered on the Internet. And it's a good, you know, he didn't say it triggered on the Internet, but it is a really great point. I mean, if you if you want to whitewash history so that things don't exist that are bad because you are such a baby, uh, which most people are in 2021, it seems, uh, it, that's on you. It's not on Phil Eklund for his game. Now, this was all on his game threads on for his games, which are which he designed himself, and he's getting banned for commenting on his own games. So these people who are going to his game threads to harass him are not banned, but he is being banned for say, for actually explaining himself and all that. I always say never explain yourself because they're not actually looking for any sort of uh, ingenuous explanation or being informed or anything like that. Whenever people are coming at you for these sorts of things, they're always doing it just to try to attack you. And anything you say, regardless of how correct it is, regardless of uh, your intent, if you're being nice to them or not, is going to be used uh, against that, against you in order to just try to destroy you when you're under these kinds of attacks and unfortunately the people at board game geek are uh, are enabling this uh, they are pushing this we saw it with the ant labs game people and we saw it with the fact that they banned me over defending ant labs games if you are defending things on topic on a topic that makes sense and not causing a ruckus because these other people are causing a ruckus they're going to go after you as the victim and that is the unfortunate reality of Board Game Geek now. Now, I'm looking at alternatives to Board Game Geek because uh, it's just really sad that they're acting like this. It's becoming uh, just an infested, nasty website. And uh, I, there is one called Board Game Atlas. 
I've not investigated it yet. Once I go through it and I kind of get familiar with the site, I'll do a sort of review of the site uh, for people. But apparently Board Game Atlas is a little bit better uh, and hopefully it has uh, good content about board games so that you can go and research and see what you want to play. Anyway, I recommend Phil Eklund's games. I just got uh, a couple of his games. One of them is called Greenland, and it's a survival game about you know being in Greenland and where it's freezing and, uh, and uh, trying to survive there. So uh, I'll, I'll, of course, talk about those as I play them and review them as well. Try to promote creators who have been canceled for no reason, especially the talented people like Mr. Eklund. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. We will be back.